Good morning, CrossFit humanity. Coach Stephanie here. Cardio core for May 10th, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you that are mothers. Today we're going to do a, it's going to be about 32 minutes, uh, and it's for max reps. So every time we're in a little set with one specific movement, we're trying to get as many reps in that time frame as possible, as long as that movement is uh, really good and safe. Yeah, so speed is part of today, but I also want really well. Um, I'm going to be focused on four movements today. Um, and so here is the format. Okay. Uh, so here's our workout. Right here. Okay. So we've got 90 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest each uh, for each movement, each round. Okay. And so this is one round and we're going to go through that four times. Okay. So for the first round, you'll do 90 seconds of max rep kneeling forward and backward lunges, and I'll show you that in a moment. Max rep, dumbbell snatch. Max rep, burpee. Max rep, sit up. I'm gonna give you a couple options for the sit up today, depending on what equipment you have and kind of how, what you feel like doing. Um, but each time we go through max reps for 90 seconds, we then rest, and then we move on to the next movement, and then we'll go through all four of these movements four times, okay? For our core finisher today, uh, this is going to be uh, in class with me here, and then I will let you guys, I'll talk you through this, I'll let you guys kind of do this at home um, if you feel like you want the extra core for the day. So uh, three rounds for quality, rest about 90 seconds between rounds. We've got 30 seconds for arm plank, right? 30 seconds at the top of a push-up, so this is just back-to-back. -back. And then after you do 30 seconds at the top of a push-up, 10 cross-body mountain climbers with a two-second hold. So you're going to pull right knee to left tricep holds, back to plank and then switch. Uh, at the end of our workout today, I'll go over this one more time so that you guys have everything you need to get it done. Um, so what we'll do is I will warm up first, we'll review the movements, and then we'll hit the workout and then see what happens. So the warm up for today, five minute AMRAP, so just to kind of get the blood flow and get you moving. You get three inch worms with a push up, 10 squats, 30 mountain climbers, Five snow angels. Okay, so for the inchworm with a push up, okay, I'm looking for straight legs to start so we can kind of warm up those hamstrings. I'm gonna walk your hands out to the top of a push up. Do that push up. Walk the hands back. Okay, that's rep number one. 10 squats. So heels flat, core tight, chest up. We're gonna squat all the way down and then all the way back up. And as you squat, try to push your hips back first and then bring the hips down below the knees, okay? That's movement number two in our warm-up. Movement number three in the warm-up, mountain climbers, okay? Classic, okay? And then movement number four, snow angels. We might not have as much room here as I'd like for this, but you're gonna start on your belly, arms extended out in front with straight arms. We're gonna sweep our arms behind us and then whoo, back in front. And it's helpful to not have anything in the way. I got a couple things in the way. I may, for just space purposes, kind of do it here. We're just looking to warm up those shoulder blades. We've got kind of a pull coming, so we want to make sure those shoulder blades are feeling good and tracking properly. Okay, so you don't need anything for the warm up. Um, I'm going to give you just a minute or two for the workout today. You need a dumbbell. Um, so if you have one or a kettlebell, uh, you can also use, I'll give you some different options. Um, if you have like a water jug, I'll show you, um, we can do a high pull instead of a dumbbell snatch. So there's ways we can, um, get around and adjust this dumbbell snatch if you need something different. So I'll give you a minute just to kind of like get the stuff you need. And then we're going to start this warm up. All right. If you guys have any questions, um, just feel free to leave it in the chat and I'll be checking uh, throughout the warm up and the workout today. If you, if you guys need anything, I'm, I'm here to help. Okay, all right, so let's start this little warm up and then uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the workout. Okay, so we're gonna. It's gonna be five minutes, so just the goal here is just to uh, keep moving, okay? Let me see that clock. Maybe. There we go. There you go. Now you can see it. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Feet together. 
So walk those hands out. Keep those legs as straight as you can for as long as you can. We've got some movements today that we got to warm up for. And part of that warm up is making sure that mobility feels good today. All right, and we got 10 squats. And these can be kind of stretchy too if you need to kind of like, your hips are feeling tight, you can kind of settle into them. This, this warm up is also meant so that you can kind of get a feel for what you need to spend a little bit more time mobilizing for today. All right, and then we've got, 30 mountain climbers. That's 30 total, not 30 each side. Alrighty. Oh, right, and snow angels. So those of you just joining us for the snow angels, you go on your belly. For me today, just kind of I'm limited in space. I'm going to go um, from a kneeling position. Okay. Just as long as we're getting some good movement through the shoulders, and you're kind of feeling through any sticky points or any places that feel a little extra tight. And then again, on the inchworms, not only are you focusing on the legs, but once you get to the top of the push-up, really find that strong position. We've got a lot of movements today that are asking for some good stability in the plank position. So we want to get really warm and active in that place. And for those of you wondering why I'm not wearing shoes, well, one, I'm inside. But two, I really like working out sometimes without shoes because I can really feel the feet, kind of how my feet are positioned on the floor. And so often I find that it keeps me a little bit more balanced and grounded because I have just more awareness of what's going on beneath my feet and how my feet are positioned. All right, coming up on about two more minutes. We'll keep moving. Okay, all right, snow angels. Yeah, coming up on about a minute 15 to go, so keep, keep moving through the warm up here. Oh, final 60 seconds. And he's going to talk to us a little bit today. Um, you guys see that? You might not be able to see the clock. Let's look at it. There you go. Yeah, he's going to talk to us today. So he will keep us on track. One thing that does happen when we're or when I'm inside working out is I get really sweaty really quickly. I don't know why. Maybe there's no breeze. All right, you got about 20 more seconds. Just kind of keep moving. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. And time. 
Rest day. Great effort. Great effort on your warm up, everybody. Um, all right, so let's talk a little bit more about this workout. Give you just a moment to just kind of catch your breath. So again, four rounds total. This is one round. 90 seconds of work at each station, 30 seconds of rest. Mass prep, kneeling forward and backward lunge. I saw this movement and I was like, done and done. That's what we're doing today. So here's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna start kind of at the back of my mat a little bit um, in the yelling position, okay? I'm gonna take one foot, step it in front of me like I'm going to be standing and walking through a lunge like we normally would. So I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna swing this other foot through, kneel. I mean to come into a, my lunge. I'm gonna push back. I'm gonna come back into that first lunge position and to the kneel. I'm gonna step my other foot forward. I'm gonna come through with my back foot, forward into a lunge, through, and then into that back lunge, original position, and switch, okay? So try a couple of them, you know, the, Alternating one is, is just a really great way to kind of reduce fatigue and help you keep going, but also it's good for your brain. Yeah. So just a couple reps to just make sure that this makes sense for your brain. Cool. So that's the kneeling forward, backward lunge. Let's start dumbbell snatch. Okay. So today I have a 25 pound dumbbell. Okay. In a workout like this, if we were at the gym, I may opt for a 35, um, so for today, because I'm going lighter, that means I can go faster, uh, which is uh, just kind of a good uh, focus for this workout today, okay? So with your dumbbell, or if you have a jug or something, we're just gonna do a couple warm-up positions. So get your feet around the dumbbell, heads kind of in line with the feet. Keep that back really active, you're gonna reach and what we're gonna do first, you're just gonna do a couple deadlifts. So bring the dumbbell down and then back up, okay? And then from here, let's go into that high pull. So you're gonna open up the hips, bring the elbow up high. Let's go, okay? And then all the way overhead, okay? You wanna keep that dumbbell as close to your body as you can. Okay, let's do the second side. So a couple reps to stand from the deadlift. Okay, a couple high pulls. And then all the way. Cool, now, if the object you have doesn't allow you to go overhead easily, then I would recommend um, sumo, de sumo deadlift high pull, okay? So then I would take, I know I probably would take I think what you could use. Maybe you could do a book bag, you can do a dumbbell, cowbell, um, a jug of water, kind of anything that kind of gives you a handle. You could, could do one arm, but you could also do both, okay? And really what I'm looking for is not so much the height of the object itself, is that we're hinging and opening the hips the whole time, okay? All right, next movement. Max rep burpee. I think we all know what a burpee looks like. And then sit up. So a couple options for your sit up today. If you have an ab mat, feel free to stick that ab mat um, below your butt or in front of it and do your sit ups that way. Um, you could do feet flat and think of strict, like strict regular sit ups, trying really hard not to use too much hip flexor. Or, and this is the one I'll be using today for my workout, straight legs. Okay, I'm not going to use an ab mat today, um, you know, because we have I've got one piece of equipment with me. So I'm going to choose the straight leg. So all I do is sit down and sit up and touch my toes, or touch, you know, as far forward as you can. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of core there. Um, but because it says sit up, feel free to make this workout work for you. So any kind of ab exercise that you want there, it's totally good. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give you a minute or so to just kind of get situated with all this stuff, and then we're gonna hit the clock and get going. I'm unfortunately not gonna be able to have any music here because I don't wanna get copyrighted. So if you have a playlist that you love, 
I would say turn it up. I'll keep track of the time for us, and then we should be good. All right, get started very soon. Just gotta make sure I'm ready. Okay. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the chat. I will be checking that regularly, like I said, so that if you guys need anything, I got you covered. Okay. Let's see, can you see everything? Okay. All right. Cool. Well, if you want to see kind of how this workout goes for you, I would recommend keeping track of the reps each round. One, so you can see kind of what happens over the course of the four rounds. Like maybe you start off slow, you start, you peak a little bit, and then like round four, it gets slow again. Or maybe you can hold a consistent uh, pace throughout. Uh, so keeping track of the scores uh, might be really interesting. So something to think about. All right, let's get this done. Let's do this. It's Sunday. All right. All right. So 90 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, four movements each round, four rounds. All right. Starting with the lunges. All right, here we go. Got a 10 second countdown. Three, two, one. Yeah. It's kind of these oranges are kind of nice. It's got a nice little swing through each time. On those lunges, try really hard to keep the chest up. Driving through the front heel as you step through. Sometimes I'm losing track of which foot starts, but. I got about 30 more seconds in this round of movement. Definitely feeling the burn in the quads a little bit. Whoa! I didn't keep my core tight on that. 15 seconds, and then we rest. Five, three. Two, one, rest. Okay. Ooh, I got a little quad burn on that. That was fun. Whew. I'd love to know what, what uh, weights you guys are using. So either let me know in the chat or in the comments below. And I'd love to know kind of just what's, what's the preferred weight that you're using. 10 seconds. We're going to alternate these. Okay. So right side, left side. Three, two, one. Keep pulling that dumbbell really close to your body. Think of a lawnmower pull high and outside with that elbow as you pull. You got about a minute. Keep it moving. For your free hand, try not to push off of the thigh or the leg or knee. One, it'll allow you to use more, or, or force you to use more muscles on the jump. But two, it's good practice because, you know, 
movement standards for things like the open. You know, don't allow you to grab that leg. Seven seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay. 30 seconds here, then we go burpees. On those burpees, get that chest all the way down to the floor. Okay. Whew. It's good. Doing power yoga today at 11. If you want a little rest and then hop into some yoga. All right, burpees, here we go. Baby. Try to land flat on those feet for the burpees. Even if your feet land a little bit more behind you instead of under, try to stand with a flat foot. Okay, 45 seconds. Keep it moving. Ten seconds. Get a couple more. Three, two, one. Rest. So on these sit-ups, try to move the whole time. Sit-ups is a really nice place to catch your breath after all of that. So find a good pace that allows you to breathe. So you're gonna be strong for the next round. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. When you don't use your arms, obviously that's going to make it way harder. All right, 40 seconds. Twenty. Three, two, one. Rest. All right. Round one of four. Okay. So now we're back to those. Forward backward lunges. Okay. Interesting that I wasn't expecting too much burn out of the straight leg, but if you keep moving, I definitely felt that. So you can get a lot out of all of this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oops. Starting from the kneeling and go. And as you push back from the front, like the 
this step and then you push back, try to push back from the heel. My cat's boyfriend is outside and so she is freaking out. <laughs> One more minute. Keep that belly tight, chest up. Thirty seconds. Come on, stay with it. Fifteen. So we really want to access the backs of the legs here. So as you're moving, you got to drive through those heels. You know, you want to have a good foundation of balance between the front and the back of the foot, but you're really thinking about driving down more towards the back end of the foot. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. We'll lock out at the top of the dumbbell snatch. Try to keep that bicep close to the ear. Oops. And as you're starting this, this movement, always try to bring that butt down. That will help you load up the right part of the body to be then able to kind of push those legs for a little jump before that bar, or I'm sorry, the object rather gets overhead okay so butt down chest up before you pull thirty seconds Eight seconds, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, burpees are coming up. Now, if you're keeping score, decide what you wanna do here. Do you wanna to try to hit the same number? see what happens, or push, so you can get a little bit more in this round. And it's up to you. And land with those feet flat. Five seconds. Keep going. Get that just all the way to the floor. And stand all the way up. Twenty seconds. Nice. 
nine seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, to sit ups. Oh, Jesse, don't you be trying on that? You're crazy, Ivy. Don't you on that? Okay. So now that you've gone through for one round, you know, especially on the sit ups, decide what you want to do here. Like, I'm going to try really hard to make these script, even if that slows me down a little bit. Okay. All right, stretch with. Thank you. I'm make these hard. Feel your coffee sloshing around. I'm feeling a little coffee belly right now. <laughs> and 45 seconds. Thirty seconds. go in three, two, one, rest. Okay, second round down. Third round, starting back at the lunges. Yeah, I got full sloshy coffee belly on that one. That's all right. Whew. Bull, bull, bull. What are you doing, Jesse? Are you watching for your boyfriend? All right, going back to the kneeling. Okay. Good, good pressure through your feet and go. Good pressure through your feet on every step, whether that's stepping forward or backwards. We want even pressure with more, a little bit more um, emphasis on your heel. Hey, hey, don't chew on that. <laughs> don't chew on that. Hey, keep going, everybody. You're going to be able to stay up here if you keep chewing on the blinds. Chewing on the blinds. Crazy lady. <laughs> keep going, four seconds. She's chewed on all of our, like everything. Oh, but you got the love of the cat, so. You know, it's all good. 25 seconds. Ten. Three, two, one, rest. Okay. Now the, the, I programmed this in a specific way, and it's probably maybe a little helpful for you guys to know. So I wanted to start getting your legs going in the lunges so that the dumbbell snatch, you have to push a little bit more through the legs. Then your airway is a little restricted, and then you get a little bit of breathing rest on the, um, okay, three, two, one, snatches on the sit-ups. So that, you know, even though there are parts that are challenging, there are some built-in places for um, a little bit of extra, at least, rest for the breath, not necessarily rest for the body. So intervals are nice because 
and they allow you to increase the intensity while also getting rest. And intensity in terms of cardio respiratory uh, um, capacity, uh, health, intensity is king. So high intensity with some rest, which allows you to keep going. Really good. Okay, about 35 more seconds. Twenty seconds. Five, three, two, one. Rest. Oh, burpees. You guys have probably gotten your fill of burpees this whole unfortunate lockdown. But even, well, I don't catch 22 and you get better at burpees. You get better at burpees, you can do more, which is awesome. But then they end up being harder for some reason in some ways. So go get better at burpees, which is always a great thing. seconds. Get sweaty at home. Huh. I'm sweating buckets here. It's even cloudy. It does feel weird to be sweating inside, though, I will say. So, yeah, that's just, that's just a weird part of this right now. All right, sit ups. There you go. And I'm going to try to make these a little more strict. One that'll help kind of build some extra strength. It'll also give me a chance to catch my breath. We got one more round. Coming up on about 45 seconds. seconds. Oh. 
three, two, one, rest. rest. Okay, everybody, we got one more round. Put it down, and then I was like, I had eight rounds here instead of four, and I was like, hmm, that's a lot longer than I think it is. I did the, did the math, and it was 48 minutes. I was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. So, and it was gonna be more. <laughs> three, two, one, go. No, it wasn't gonna be more, I just, I wanted to make it about a 32 minute workout or so. Uh, so just be happy that it's not 48 minutes instead of 32. Get good foot pressure through these lunges. And again, if you're keeping score, you're keeping track of how many you're doing, since this is the final round, you know, decide what you want to do with it. If you want to try to beat your score, then you got to move, okay? And you got to move through this whole, you know, next eight minutes or so. And since it's Mother's Day, again, happy Mother's Day, uh, this might be a nice, like, pre- Mother's Day, social distancing, FaceTime, whatever it is you're doing, uh, work out before you head on out to celebrate. 13 seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. Okay. And we've got our dumbbell snatches. And when you're, again, when you're use, using that dumbbell or any weight, I really want you to lock out in that overhead position, okay? So keeping that armpit open, trying to keep the biceps by the ear, okay? Seven seconds. Five, three, two, one, begin. That dumbbell really close, like you're zipping up your shirt. Or you're pulling a lawnmower cord. Now, every time I use that analogy, I always wonder how many people remember or have actually done that before, since it's probably been a while since we've had lawnmowers that have that kind of pull. How about we could say a speedboat or a motorboat? Okay, 45 seconds. Okay, 30. Full send on this here on these burpees. I mean, I'm not going to. You do that. I'm going to keep consistent. But if you really just want to punch it, go for it. And begin.
All right, we've, we're over the halfway point here. Thirty seconds. Seconds. Five. Okay. Last movement here, guys. That's good. We're almost there. All right, last little bit, last set of sit-ups. Make these really good, make them count. seconds. Yeah, 15. Almost there. <sighs> Three, two, one. And time. Great, Great effort, everybody. Um, so let's take a moment to catch your breath. Um, I don't know about you, but I got plenty, I got plenty sweaty and a ton of work uh, in 31 minutes and 30 seconds. So for those of you that are joining me live, thank you. That was awesome. Good job. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm going to kind of just going to review the core piece real quick so that you can kind of do that uh, on your own and kind of at your own pace. I recommend resting about 90 seconds between rounds, there's only three of them, but get a good amount of rest. Uh, if you need more rest than that, uh, totally do that, feel free to do that. Um, so 30 seconds in forearm plank. When you're in forearm plank, I really want you to try to get kind of an even like little box. Sometimes this can happen in our forearm plank. So I really want us to kind of open up the hands a little bit and get uh, a nice kind of solid kind of box shape for our forearm. And then remembering that, um, Oh yeah, I do. Woohoo! Cool. Um, remembering that when you're in your forearm plank, we're trying not to keep our butt up here, right? We're gonna we're gonna get our butt in line with the shoulders. So you're gonna go 30 seconds forearm plank, and then you'll transition right into the top of a push-up, and then you'll hold the top of the push-up here for again 30 seconds. And then once you hit that 30 second mark, that's a minute uh, in a core like isometric hold. Then you're gonna do 10 cross body mountain climbers with a two second hold, okay? So you'll get to this position. You'll take your right knee and bring it over to your left tricep and hold, and then replace. And then left knee over to right tricep, hold and replace. So one knee to opposite elbow is one. So you don't have to do too many. What ends up happening is that for most of you, you'll be holding this position, the core will be engaged for about a full 90 seconds, which that gets tough. So see how long you can hold on here. Again, three rounds, rest 90 seconds between rounds. Uh, if you want to skip that um, and just do, we're going to do just a couple stretches before we close it out or just kind of watch the stretches we do so that you can uh, do it after your core. Um, okay, so for those lunges, 
Let's take a seat and cross the shins real quick. Okay. And in this position, I want you to pull the feet out. So here you can, well, I'm kind of camouflaged a little bit, but my shin is about here. So my feet and my knees are kind of lined up. Sometimes we get into this really tight cross. I just bring it out a little bit, okay? Bring those feet away from you, okay? Reach the arms up. And then let's go forward. Just bow, just let everything kind of fall down. Okay, let's stretch those hips. And then if it feels good, you can also kind of like reach through one side as long as you keep those hips kind of grounded and anchored to the floor, you'll get a lot of good stretch. We got a lot of lower back work here with those snatches, a lot of glute work with the snatches and the lunges. Okay. All right, go ahead and bring yourself back up. Plant your feet on the floor. This is for all those burpees in uh, the chest. So hands go behind you. Fingertips face the heels. Straighten the arms. Open the chest. And then lift the hips. Okay? And then if you want to bring your hips forward a little bit, that'll open up the shoulders and biceps. And hold for three, two, one. Go ahead and bring yourself back down. And then last stretch. Stag. So you take your left foot and pull it close to your butt cheek. Take your right foot to the inside edge of that left thigh. Okay. So sit up taller and just reach those hands behind you. Okay. We're looking for a stretch along the front of this left thigh. And again, I know I'm camouflaged, but this is a leg right here. <laughs> so you can lean back if you like. And just kind of look into open up. The front of the thigh. Good. All right. Go ahead and bring yourself back up. Let's swing the feet around. And let's go the other side. Okay, so pull that right heel in close to your butt. Hands go behind you. And then you can stay or drop to the forearms if that gives you a little extra. All right, go ahead and come on up. All right. So if you guys are getting into the core, enjoy that. Stay in good position. Thank you for those of you joining me today. I um, hope you got a great workout. I feel pretty good going into the rest of the day today. I felt like, you know, we got a good amount of reps of everything. Um, thank you again for joining me. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the button. And yeah, I think we're going to see you guys this week. The schedule is changing a little bit. Um, and we will post all of the information for that. You're still going to get uh, basically, uh, let's see, well, you get seven days of workouts. Uh, but we're not going to be necessarily having as many classes throughout the week in terms of barbell and um, cardio core, but we will still be there. So thank you. Thanks, Dean. Uh, have a wonderful day today, and I'll see you guys this week. All right. See ya.